So a lot of people have been asking me questions about how to make an application center. So today I'm going to show you two new ways that you can use to create your application center. Let's get into the video. Okay guys, so the first method is blocks tag. Um, this is a great way for you to create application center is easy. And so what you want to do is once you're logged in, you want to click this plus button. And after that, you want to name this Tutorial Application Center and press Done. And so after that, you would want to download your game. So I'll press Download and I'm going to choose Application Center. I'm not sure what's the difference between Application Center or Interview Center. I'm just going to choose Application Center for now. Alright, so now that it's downloaded, I'm going to save that for later. And then after that, I'm going to create an application. So first, I want to for people to apply for my trainee rank, let's say. You could do whatever you want. I'm just going to do trainee rank for now because this is most likely the standard that everyone will be doing if you want to create a new roleplay group. So let's press check and make the questions. So after that, once you're in the game, or not in the game, but once you're in this page, you want to add a question. So let's say the question is, uh, what is my name? This is just an example question. You don't have to do it for yourself. But there are so many different kinds of questions you could do. Text, multiple choice, rate from 1 to 10, or typing speed test. Usually, I wouldn't use the typing speed test for uh, an application center like this, but you could choose to do so. Uh, rate from 1 to 10, multiple choice, or text. I'm going to do multiple choice. So first, I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to say 1, 2, 3, and then, yeah. So you can only have three options, which is a little bit less than my center, but that's okay. So, one, two, and three. So I'm going to click save. Alright, now that you have this done, I'm going to add another question. This time it's going to be more text, and I'm going to say, Why do you want to become a trainee? And it's going to be a text question. Alright, so there we go. And the, for the last one, I'm going to say, rate your happiness level this is just an example and you could put a rate from 1 to 10 kind of question all right there you go so now we have our three questions done now it is time to get to the roblox side so now that we are in the roblox version uh first step is that you want to publish the game to your profile or group and open game settings go to security and switch to third party and then enjoy your brand new center okay so if you don't know understand what this means then i'll teach you so first you want to go to game settings right over here and you want to open it up all right and now you would want to save to roblox so i'm going to click and I'm just going to call this Tutorial Application Center. And there you go, it's done. And you wanna, if you want to have it created by any of these people, then you're more than welcome to do so. So now I'm going to click Save. Okay, and then here we are. This is our new game that we have created. And now we want to go to game settings again. And then after that, we want to go to other. Or go to security first, sorry. Security. And after that, you want to go to third party sales. And then 
third party that teleports. So now that's what you want to do. And save. Alright. And now that we have that done, let's go move to the back to Chrome. Alright, but we still are not done. So now we have multiple things we could do. So first I'm gonna go to settings. And here we could do all kinds of stuff. So if you want to apply your Discord webhook URL, you can do so. So that uh, messages will be able to appear on your Discord saying that they have like the application ready and such and such. So yeah. And after that you have the elegi eligibility over here. So if you want the minimum Roblox account age to be here so that people don't spam your application, you could do so. And you can also restrict on your group rank as well. You have to have the group ID here, the minimum rank, and the maximum rank, and the minimum Roblox account age. You don't have to do this, but I personally like to. And for the group ID, yeah, I'll show you how to get the group ID later. And you have the minimum rank and the maximum rank. I'll show you how to get these later as well. And this will apply if the applicant has already an application that is still new or processing. So you can do this saying that and people can't really spam your application. This allow applying if the applicant applied in the past regardless of the status. So you can only limit one, basically one application per applicant or per Roblox user. Alright, so that's basically it over here. So let's go back to the center over here. And now we can go to the settings page right over here as well. So now we can customize our application center. So who should receive emails? No one. Center owner only. Admins or readers. So personally, I would like to do no one because I don't want my email or mail to be just clogged up with a bunch of emails saying that someone has applied. All right. So we could either do uh, customization, which can have either a blue, green, yellow, red, or black theme. Personally, I would like to go with blue because it's the best, but the green is also really cool too. The yellow is pretty cool as well. The red, eh. and then the black. Personally, I would go for the blue. After that, all right. After that authentication settings you could add admins or groups so you can add group ranks to here group you have to enter the group ID and then the group rank or you can add individual users as well so you have to add their username so that's basically it for block center but we're not done yet because we still got one more way so another way that we could create an application center is through disco buttons. And honestly, this is one of the most popular ways you can actually create your application center. So let's start. First, I'll get, I'll put the link here in the description. But first, you want to go to the game and then click on the three dots and then press edit. So let's jump right in into Roblox Studio. Alright, so now that you open the application center, let's start. So first, we want to go to Starter GUI over here. Then click down, and then you have these two local scripts. You want to right click on this one, Disco Bytes Customizer, and open. Alright, so now you have here, here you want to put in your group ID as well. But I'll show you how to do that later. And then after that, you have Title 1 and Title 2. So for Title 2, you can change this rank. Personally, I would change this entire thing for Trainee. Press Start to continue. All right. So the only thing about the, this application center is that there you cannot have any multiple choice questions or any one rate one to ten questions or speeding type typing speed but 
uh, you can only have essay questions on here, but I think that's okay. So you can have local questions here. You can change all of this. You can say one describe your your personality. Also for number two, you can do hi or stuff like that. If you ever want to create a new one, just copy this and paste it here. But be sure that there has to be a comma. And you could change this to nine and say, I like cheese or something like that. All right, so now that we have that done, we wanna go all the way to Cloud Hub open so here you want here is the webhook you could say insert webhook here uh, you have to insert it in these two commas so it would be like hey, something like this and then has zero discord webhook here and the reason for this is because um, when someone applies, then the message from Roblox will automatically send to Discord and then sort of like a bot would speak to you saying that someone has applied and they will list out the application and what they wrote. So I don't think you need to touch anything else other than this webhook right here. So now we are going to go back to Roblox because I haven't explained what a webhook is or really how to get your group ID and your group rank. Alright, so now that you are on your group, I would like to explain what the group rank and what the group ID is. So if you go over to your browser here, you have this weird set of numbers here. That right there is your group ID. So that you would want to put as your group ID. So now if you want your group rank, go to configure group and you would want to go to roles. And after that your rank is right here, 255. The owner has a rank of 255. If you want to go to the co-owner, the co-owner has a rank of 253. So that basically is your rank. 